guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in fact what I got for Christmas 2023. Yay! Um, gotta keep the tradition alive. I've been doing these videos on my channel ever since I started, so it's kind of fun to show you my little Christmas haul every year. And I also did my wishlist video earlier this month, so it'd also be kind of fun to compare that to everything. I'm super grateful and happy for all these gifts. Let's just get right into it. First of all, I am wearing some of my Christmas gifts already. First up, I got these amazing little earrings from En Route. I am absolutely obsessed with them. My sister-in-law slash brother-in-law really came through. I sent them some of the jewelry, but my sister-in-law actually picked out the bow earrings herself and she killed it. She slayed. I'm absolutely obsessed with this little stack right here and I really wanted some statement jewelry. So I am super excited about that. I also got like this little necklace from En Route as well from them and it has like these little sparkles on it. It is gorgeous and just another good little statement heart necklace which I love as you guys know. Also I'm wearing these little gingham pants from Sonder House. It was on my wish list if you guys remember and I cannot hype up these pants enough. I have been wearing them for like three days straight. No I'm not kidding and it's a little concerning but they are just so comfy, so lightweight, so flattering, so cute. I cannot sing them praises enough. If you love red gingham pants I highly recommend these. I'm even matching my bedspread, so it's clear that gingham is just always on my mind. Also, my in-laws gave me these pants, so shout out to them. I am honestly so obsessed with them. I will be wearing them every day until I die, probably. <laughs> the last thing I also got is my little microphone that I'm also wearing. My parents got this for me. I had put it on the list, so it was like on Amazon, so super easy to get, and it seems pretty nice so far. I'm trying it out today, so you guys can let me know if the quality of sound is way better or not, but I'm excited for like outfit videos when I'm far further away to try them out as well. Let's get into the rest of the haul. Now, most people would say save the best for last, but I am saving the best for first because I can't wait to show you guys this. I got the set from Peachy Den, the one that I have been obsessing over for so long. I got both the shirt and the skirt and I am absolutely obsessed with them. The shirt is the off the shoulder top and it is so flattering. The rumors are true, it looks so good on. It's the softest material too, it's so silky. And I feel like it's just so lightweight as well. Like I don't feel like I'm even wearing anything sometimes when I'm wearing it, which could be nice. You just move around super easily. I also have a little skirt, which I'm so glad it has little built-in shorts. I feel like that's such a nice detail. Super cute. You can kind of make it more asymmetrical if you want, play around with it. I also like how you can kind of play around with the waistband. It's just such a good set, you guys. I'm obsessed with Peachy Den, so I'm really glad I got this and it was my husband who came through. So thank you, Brev. I am obsessed, obsessed with the set. While we're on clothes, I also might as well show you that I got these Peachy Den cargos. Now, I already have these Mimi cargos in navy, so the fact that I got them in Oyster as well is just so nice. I feel like the quality of these is also really, really good. Not just saying that, like, they genuinely are such well-made pants. They're also so comfortable. Like, I could wear these in my sleep, to be honest, and that's why I love them. They're kind of like an elevated sweatpants almost. And this color was what I was really excited about because my other ones are kind of darker, so I wanted like more of a bright, pastel-y type pant to go with some shirts. So, super excited about these as well, and another pant I'll be wearing literally every day of the week. I also got quite a few accessories. I got some little socks, which is super nice, from my in-laws again. I feel like these will just be really good to toss on, and if you want like a bright pop of color in your outfit, it'll be super fun to wear these. I actually love socks for Christmas. It's like such a nice thing because I always need them. Um, I also got these little Hufflepuff Hufflepuff? I also got these Hufflepuff socks from my mom and this Hufflepuff beanie. I got a whole like Harry Potter box from her because she knows I love Harry Potter. So no surprise there. I also got like this little like crew neck. I wear crew necks all the time. So this will be really nice. While on the subject of socks, I might as well show you all the shoes I got. First up are these loafers that my brother got me. If you watched my most recent vlog, I went to Target and I actually tried these loafers on and I was like, I love these, I wanna get them. But I was like, at the moment, I was like, I don't need these, I'm just gonna leave them for now. But then my brother asked me, what do you want for Christmas? And I did send him this link of these very shoes and was like, if you wanna get me this, I won't be mad. So now I have them and I'm so, so excited because I have been loving loafers and I really like the idea of styling them down with like some sweatpants or something. I think they're gonna be really fun to have. And honestly, it might even become like a staple in my wardrobe. I love the little chunk and these ones are just really nice. So thank you, Gideon, for pulling through on these. 
Also, I got these little Mary Janes from my mom. I did put a different, like, yellow Mary Jane on my wish list, but she found these ones and was like, they're kind of close enough, right? I like the little bow and the little charm on them, and they're kind of a brighter yellow, which will be kind of interesting and fun to style. I think they're really, really cute, and the shape of them is really, really nice. I really like the round toe. And I said in a TikTok recently that I've been loving fun Mary Janes, so now I have yet another pair to play around with, and I'm really, really excited about them. Yeah, and I love the color yellow, so win, 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 win. The last pair of shoes I got, which I'm also super excited about, probably, again, one of my favorite things, is these little boots. My in-laws, again, got these for me, which is so, so nice, and they have all the buckles on them. I'm absolutely obsessed. I wore them the other night with my Kylie set, and it was just such a good fit. I felt so confident, so cool. Um, yeah, I'm really, really obsessed with these. I know a lot of people say they're gonna go out of trend and be like kind of tacky in a year or two, but I disagree. I'm actually so into them and I think they're always gonna be kind of a fun statement boot. I'm so excited about these. They're from Macy's, so don't sleep on Macy's, I guess. I did get quite a few little knickknacks. You guys know me, I just love my little knickknacks and I love little plushies, it's just, Something I feel like I collect first up is this little Monchichi doll. I think that's how you say it. I did get her for myself. Like this is a gift from me to me because I just thought it was too niche to ask of my family to get something like this, but I kind of counted her as a stocking stuffer. Absolutely obsessed with her. I think she is so cute. I know some people don't get it. Like my husband is like, it's kind of creepy, but I disagree. I think she's really, really cute. And I kind of like just putting her on my little shelf next to my Sony Angels. So she's super cute and I honestly kind of want more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love it, I love it. I also did get some jelly cats. I am so obsessed with jelly cats. They're just like the cutest stuffed animal in my opinion. And I got this little plant, which I kind of want to display in my living room. I think he's so cute and just like, can just chill on my little bookshelf, be a very cute little detail. And then I got this little bunny. I am obsessed with the bunny. I just love bunnies in general, I think. So the fact that I got this little guy, I am just so happy. I think it's so cute, especially on my bed with my little gingham bedding. Please, absolutely obsessed with him. I, what can I say? I am a child at heart and I love little jelly cat stuffed animals. I also got this little Squishmallow from Sierra, my friend. If you watched my most recent vlog again, it's in that. And she got me this from Five Below, and I think he's just such a cute little guy. And while we're on the subject of Squishmallows, I also got not one, not two, but all four house Squishmallows from Hogwarts, which again, I don't know if that's kind of niche. I love Harry Potter at heart and my mom knows this, so she made me a whole little Harry Potter box and I did get the whole collection of Squishmallows. I do want to put these on my bookshelf as well above like my Harry Potter series, so I'm really excited about this. I think they're so cute. For digital stuff, I did in fact get the little camera that was on my wish list. I did put a Hello Kitty, well my Melody I guess, sticker on it and I think that just makes it so much cuter. It has like a charger and everything that comes with it too, which is really nice and I can't wait to like take this out on like a night out on the town with friends and have a little camera to take pictures. I don't know if it's like the highest, highest quality, which I kind of knew when I put it on my wish list, but I think it's just gonna be really fun to like actually take around. And sometimes it's just fun to have a camera instead of your phone, you know what I mean? I also got a whole pack of Hello Kitty stickers. So I did put one on my camera, obviously, but I also wanna put these on my new computer. My husband is building me a computer for Christmas. That's like one of my biggest gifts, which is so kind of him. He has built his own computer before, so I he knows way more about it than I do, but I'm really, really excited about that. My little casing thing is pink, so he knows me so well. I want to put all these little Hello Kitty stickers on it to make it even cuter, and I will become a gamer girl. Just you wait. Follow me on my gaming channel next. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have one of those, but maybe I should make one. Last, but certainly not least, I also got this Hello Kitty blanket from my in-laws. I mean, come on. Do you see her? She's so good. I <laughs> love that. I just got a little Hello Kitty blanket for Christmas. Like, they know me so well. What can I say? I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty, Miffy. Sony Angels, all things cute and little. So I'm really excited to have this to cozy up in the winter time. Uh, I actually do have one more last thing I wanted to show you guys I just forgot about, but I remembered that my friend Amber got me these miffy little like toggle caps for my Switch, which is so cute. I love Miffy, she just knows. 
And I also haven't played my Switch in a while, so this will motivate me to get back into it. Again, Gamer Girl, Gamer Girls! I love Miffy, and I'm so excited to put these and make my Switch even cuter. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, you guys. I just want to show you that because while on the subject of Hello Kitty, we might as well throw it in there. That is it for my haul for the most part. I think that there are probably a few more gifts I forgot to show just because things are tucked away. So if you're my family and friends watching this, I promise I tried to show everything and I'm so grateful for all my gifts. Thank you guys. Tell me what you guys got for Christmas. I would love for you to comment down below. You can catch up with me on my socials as well if you would like and I will see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.